Ooh, ooh. We're gonna do an oil change today. Oil pan, oil filter, and oil drain plug. And release. America. Woo. Alright, what's up? So, maybe as you can tell, we're gonna do an oil change today. Oil change on my 2016 Chevrolet Cruze. Got 205,000 miles on it. Probably should have done this a little bit earlier, but I'm switching over to a high mileage uh, oil. So we've got our Casper Edge 5W30, fully synthetic high mileage oil. Fram ultra synthetic filter. I know I've heard some stuff about the Fram filters, but it's literally the only one that they had. Hyper tough uh, oil catch cans. Now I'm just gonna jack up the car, which lift points on this car like nearly non existent. So, gotta figure that out. Now away we'll go. Make sure you always chuck your wheels, because you never know. This is the problem with this car. I don't know the best place to jack it up. oil pan, oil filter, and oil drain plug. All right, let's get to it. This is a 15 mil over here. Tools is the one thing where I definitely prefer metric. Everything else, America, woo. All right, so on your oil catch, you wanna make sure the discharge valve is closed or the emptying valve, whatever you wanna hold it, to make sure your pressure relief valve is open so that the oil can go in and the air can come out. And then, of course, you want to make sure that the oil is going to flow here. And then it goes in there. And then you go bring it over to AutoZone or wherever uh, to recycle it. Or if you don't like your neighbor, throw it on their lawn. But we like our neighbors, so. We just want to make sure we position this thing here in a place where it's going to catch everything and not go all over the place. Ooh, one thing. Open your crankcase up so that there's air so that things will move. But don't leave it open because you don't want uh, anything to fall into uh, the crankcase. Guys. That would be bad. So, righty tighty, lefty loosey. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can do this without absolute mess here. Okay, and release. And as we see here, the oil is going in and it's coming out from here. This car only has about 4.2-ish uh, quarts of oil. Next, we wanna take this oil filter off. So these are not supposed to be super tight. They're pretty much hand tight. I know some people will use tools too. They're not really supposed to over tighten them. Let's see if we can get it off. Come on. There you go, see, it's moving. It, yeah, really is hand tightened. Now this is gonna be a mess. I'm gonna use the hand that does not have the Apple Watch on it. I'll take it off slowly. Try to get as little spillage as possible which is not possible. I'm just gonna let that go for a second. What's nice is though, this is, it goes straight down. Some cars, it goes to the side. On some of the older Toyotas, I don't know if they still do it, it goes from the top down. Not a big fan of that design. Okay. Ooh, ooh. And as we see, there's still quite a bit of oil left. We'll let that continue to drain for a bit longer. So when it comes to this oil filter, there is a gasket. I've never experienced it, but I know sometimes the gasket can get stuck onto the actual uh, engine. Uh, so we see here, the gasket is still here. So we are good to go. See the filter right here, screws up right there. And then oil comes in and then it flows out of the um, holes in the filter back to the in, back into the engine. All right, as we wait for that stuff to finish draining out, so this is a Fram Ultra Guard. Uh, what's cool about the Frams is they have this grip tape or something here at the end, so you can really get a nice grip. So this makes it a little bit easier to grab. The hole here, holes here. Goes in dirty, comes out clean-ish. The Frams are not the best, but like I said, it's, it's literally the only one that I had. Oil, the um, 
the gasket here. Some people like to pre-fill. I've never done it before because all the cars that we had were either cartridge-based or they were to the side. It's just gonna come right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-fill it right now. Get some of the oil and then you kind of just moisten uh, that new gasket. All right, we are back here. We got our new filter. Just pop it straight back up and in. There we go. Once it's on and it gets tighter, you go about three quarters to one extra turn beyond. So, tight. I do want to make sure it's good. I think we're good there. Now, you can put back the drain plug. Boom. There we go. All right, clean this up a little bit. Clean up my, my gloves because I do like my tools. And then you just, yeah, right there. That should be good. And that's pretty much it. We've drained the oil. Ready to be recycled. Always recycle your oil unless you don't like your neighbor, then throw it on their yard. Don't do that. Don't do that. I did not tell you to do that. Do it in Minecraft. Then we'll lower the car and then we'll uh, put some oil in the crankcase and see if it works still. So this now is technically just under four quarts. Looks like we're good, actually. Yep, right at the top. So I technically only put four quarts in total, including the filter, but with the air bubbles, once you run the car a little bit, it should be just a little bit low. So we'll be able to top it off. I'm gonna turn the car on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it further into the garage and uh, we'll, see, we'll see how the oil level really is. So we are just under the top uh, line for the uh, for the dipstick. So it just needs a little little bit of oil. That works. All right, that works for me. And with that, we are pretty much done. Oil change on the 2016 new body style Chevrolet Cruze. Not too bad at all. The hardest part, honestly, was finding a place to put the jack. And with that, we're pretty much done. Catch you all on a flip. Some of you might be wondering. Uh, why I went with a um, high mileage oil? Well, it's 206,401 miles. The car's got some oil leaks, it's got an oil seat. The idea of the high mileage oil is it can swell up some of those older seals to kind of stop or at least slow down some of those oil leaks. You know, it's just a natural occurrence of any car uh, once it gets 100,000 miles, sometimes even less. This car has been really good overall. It's just, yeah, it, it's, it, you know, it started it started to get a uh, seep or a leak and, you know, we start seeing stuff in the driveway every once in a while. So yeah, you know, and if, if, if it can help mitigate that until, you know, I can replace the, um, whatever it is, the seal or the gasket. That's the reason why I went with the high mileage. That's pretty much it. And um, with that, catch you all on the flip.